and welcome back to the Planes of Prophecy Crafting Timeline Part Duh. Yeah, hey, one of these days I'm gonna get muck up with this tongue twister. So let's get going. This is probably the longest quest in the series. It took me probably well over an hour. I've speeded a lot of this up because it's incredibly boring just running from place to place. Well, first off, we've got to get to the Tower of the Rainkeeper and speak to Karana. Well, good luck with it. This took me forever to figure this out. I, I don't know. Anyway, you've if you look on your map, you see the little book, it's in the middle of the water, so you're looking around up in the sky, where the heck is it? Anyway, if you find out where it is on the map, then there's a little island, look for where the lightning is striking the ground if you can't see it, and there's a teleporter right at the bottom of that lightning, that's how you get into the Tower of the Rainkeeper. And there's Karana, so let's uh, advance the quest and move on. Remember where that little water pool is in front of him, because we will have to come here in the future to fill up our little bucket. So now we have to go and speak to Vunark at the base of the Tower of the Thunder. This is in the bottom left hand corner or southwest, whichever way you want to look at it. Anyway, this is what takes all the time up in the zone. You've a lot of running about because you have to go to all four corners of the zone several times. So I'll just speed it up a little bit so we'll get there that tiny bit quicker. And here's Vunok, so basically he gives us like a lot of gathering quests, so just let's get on with it. So now we have to gather all the items on the list. You'll find these at the base of the towers in all four corners of the zone. The exception to this is the water, which we will find in the pool next to Karana. So to harvest the water we need a bucket. Now sometimes this can be a right pain to find. So if you open up your resource tracker when you're at the base of the towers, you probably will see it. It can be anywhere, even right at the top of the tower. But if you're lucky, it will be at the bottom when you're harvesting some of the nodes. And would you look at that, we have a winner. The bucket is here somewhere, now let's find it. And winner, winner, chicken dinner, there it is. Now this was really easy to find today.
think we're going to get the water from the little pool next to Karananex since we're heading that way anyway, so it'll be a shame not to stop off and get it. Oh, 31 fishing skill. How bad can it be? This guy is really old and I just never bothered harvesting with him. Oh, I'm stone. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, come on, just a clear to go. Come on, you can do it. And finally we have everything. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? We're nearly there. Yeah, no, not actually. Anyway, get back to the center of the zone and we'll craft everything up. So now we just craft the lightning rods and the temper clear, then we'll put them together, it'll take 5-6 uh, minutes maybe. So now you open up your inventory, put the clay and the lightning rods together. So now we head to the northeast tower and at the base we'll talk to Edley Eyes, the wiring, and he will advance the quest to the next part.
and he's given us another exciting quest. We've got to go to the northwest corner now, right at the top, and pick up a block of ice. Gotta get back here in five minutes. It's plenty of time. Don't worry about it. It's like Colin McRae's rally, what a lovely power slide that was. Ah, oh, nearly there. See, two minutes left, plenty of time, I told you. And now just plop the ice down into the little symbol. Plop, that's a good word. Then we put the... Uh, <laughs> then we put the lightning rods into the sand, then stand well back. I mean, really well back. I stood right next to the guy when I did this with one of my tunes, and when he blew his fire, he blew me literally off the side of the tower and I died. Slightly embarrassing, so do stand well back. There she blows! So collect the lightning rods and stick them in the ice to cool them down. And now we're off to the Tower of the Thunder, which is the Southwest Tower. This is the exciting part. Can you guess why it's called Thunder? Because there is lightning. Yes, and you have lightning rods. Can you guess what you're doing? Yes, you are. Sticking the four lightning rods in the ground, we're going to collect some lightning. All of this just to collect some lightning. This is the last step, and then it's homeward bound. Thank the Lord. So we simply place the lightning rod in the ground and wait till the lightning bolt blasts on it. Stand back again because you might die. I'm not sure if you can die at this point because I, I never actually took the risk of standing right next to it. Anyway, do this four times and then it definitely is homeward bound. Woo. So we now just head back home if you've got evac or some other special ability to get you there quicker please use it otherwise like me you just have to run home.
and simply find Varig if you wander around the outside somewhere and hand in the quest and that is it. Yes. Collect your money and your status. Good stuff. Eh, not really that great. You're hoping for better things, but never mind. At the end of the next quest, you do get some nice things. You get your horse and a couple of other things, which are really nice. <laughs> If you've had a fabulous time like me, I think, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for part three. Oh yes, <laughs> it's not as bad as this one.